Okay, so now we'll show you how you can create something like that. First of all, open up any 3D program you like, in my case Blender, because now we have to paint on the vertex groups. So in Blender, we just have to go into the vertex paint mode, then choose brush, down here any color you like, for example black, and at the power choose one, and now just paint onto your mesh. And this black part here will be moved with the wind in the Unreal Engine 4. Okay, now go back into the object mode and export the mesh. Now open up the Unreal Engine 4 and in there we have to create the material. But I will just wait now a little bit. Okay, now create the material. So right click, new material, double click onto it, and now we can create our effect. So first of all, add a lerp node, so L and left mouse button, and connect it with the word position offset. Then up here, type in grass, and add a simple grass wind. Then type in vertex, and add a vertex color, and then type in constant, and add two constant vectors. Now connect the first constant vector with the with the B from the lerp, the simple grass wind with the A from the lerp, and the vertex color, the RBG channel, with the alpha from the lerp. And the second constant you should connect with the wind intensity and the wind weight. And then just type in a value, for example 1. Now we have to add a base color, so we'll just add a constant for constant 3 vector now. There we'll choose, let's say, blue. And then connect it with base color. And the additional VPO from the simple grass wind should be also connected with the base color here. And that's it. Now just try it out. Play from here. Or not play from here, sorry. It's a little bit from UDK. So where's our mesh? We have to import it. So where is it? Import here. Then just place the mesh. Scale it up or down. And drag drop the material onto the static mesh. And as you can already see here, the wind effect just appears on the upper part from the mesh where we have painted on the black color, as you can see here in Blender. Here's our black color, and here's our effect. Okay, so that's it. That's how you use vertex colors in the Unreal Engine 4. And yeah, I hope it helped you.